Warning, this video may contain bad jokes, manly screams, lots of swearing, and or traces of nuts. Oh right, that's new in one of the previous updates as well, you have dr uh, your uh, prisoners can have drug addictions. That's pretty funny. Well, you know what I mean, not really funny, but you understand what I, what I mean. <laughs> um, policy regime. Oh right, we can change our regime. We don't want all this lockup time, come on. Uh, they can sleep from 11 p.m. to 6, 7 a.m. Sure, why not? I think, let's see, daily shower time is essential for personal hygiene. Many inmates will simply not bother unless forced to do so. Okay, they need to be forced to do so. So, one hour of shower time in the morning should be enough for that. Um, in fact, they will shower right after they wake up. Then they will have, for the time being at least, some free time during these hours. Or do they want food first? No, they can eat twi twice a day, is that enough? I think we'll, we'll, I guess we'll find out if that's enough or not. Uh, eat, uh, yard time. Let's see. Prisoners are let out of the facility and into the yard for some much needed exercise, sunlight and fresh air. Uh, free time. It's time best of all, and will socialize and take care of their needs the best they can. Okay, and uh, you know, we're just going to give them free time like this. Uh, free time, there we go. Yard time, yeah, they'll force yard time down here, they'll free time here and here. And eating time, like that, and maybe another shower time. No, they don't need another shower time. I mean, they've got two hours to shower during this time. Two hours? Isn't that too long? Well, I guess if it's busy at the showers, then maybe two hours is good, so... And then they'll... You know, we'll just give them another hour to eat in the evening. I don't know what else to fill it with. Okay, so they'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours of sleep. Five hours of eating time, two hours of your time, seven hours of free time, and th two hours of shower time every day. That's good, at least until we get a workshop and stuff. After we get a workshop, we will take away some free time and your time. And probably one hour of eating time as well, and we will make those working hours. So they should enjoy this as long as they can, because soon enough it'll be gone. It'll all be gone, guys. Enjoy it. Five hours left until our first prisoner intake. Oh, I'm getting excited now, guys. Uh, why is this not... Oh, uh, this needs doors. Haha, <laughs> right. Fucking objects. Chill door. There we go, there we go. There, 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 there. Lots and lots of jail doors. All those doors should be in before the first prisoners arrive. I hope at least. Uh, common room. Common room seems very empty for the time being, but we will fill it up when we get more prisoners. I mean, if we have a lot of prisoners, then we want more TVs, more bookshelves, more chairs and sofas and all that kind of jazz. But for now, this should be fine. This was going to be the laundry room, so when they work, this is going to be the workshop, this is going to be the laundry room, and it's all going to be alright. Ooh, look at these! These offices are finally getting cleaned. We're going to need a lot more janitors and stuff very soon, but... At least for now, it will be clean slowly but surely. Uh, this holding cell is not really useful, but we will just keep it there anyways. I mean, if we ever get over, uh, overpopulation, then at least we'll have an area to put them in. Uh, the yard is pretty fucking empty. <laughs> Maybe we should make some more paths. Let's plan out some more paths. Uh, how do we want the paths to be planned out? We want this to be a path. We want this to be a path. We want it all the way up to here. Yeah, like this. Then here, and here, and here, and here, and that's looking good. You like that. Okay, that's beautiful. And later on we will do it for these areas as well, but for the time being this is okay, like this. Ooh, less than one and a half hours. Guys, they're coming, they're coming. The Germans, no, not the Germans, the prisoners. Oh, an hour left, an hour left. Ooh. I'm going to put it on slower as soon as they arrive. And I'm going to hire a lot of guards, guards as soon as they arrive because we are going to need it. 
40 minutes. 35 minutes, we are just counting down now. 30 minutes. Here we go, 25 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, 15 minutes. Oh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here they come. 80 more prisoners arriving. Oh, okay, we have, we have enough space for them. Let's see, who are coming in? Okay, okay, let's pause it for a second. We've got Sean Hoy. Sentenced to four years for fraud. Not even for prostitution. Apparently not, not for prostitution. <laughs> Tom Clegg. Sentenced to one year for dangerous driving. And he's also been sentenced for video game piracy, money laundering and driving under influence. Then we've got Paul Slater with his mohawk. Sentenced to three years for multiple crimes including bribery, forgery and perjury. Not even for his haircut. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Mark Hare. Sentenced to three years for video game piracy. Oh, you bad, bad man. 63 years old and still pirating games, huh? Ay, 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 ay. And we got Sven Haskell. Sven Haskell was an infamous hacker who got convicted for breaking into Andromeda Research's servers, attacking its weak point for massive damage. He got caught because he failed to use locked leader properly. What a moron. What a moron, Sven Torwan Haskell. What an absolutely terrible mistake. But you got sentenced to one year for dangerous driving instead of for hacking. Hmm. I've got Joel Hubbley. Caught while hacking into the bank's network system that he's already working for. The only excuse he mentioned when caught was that he was just wondering how much the president, the president earns monthly. Yeah, right. Sentenced to one year for drunk disorderly behavior. Apparently he was drunk when he was hacking into it. Okay, that's good to know. We've got Enum Weiner. I bet he's going to complain a lot. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Oh, I'm so funny. And Tom Schaefer. Sentenced to one year for false accounting. Whoa. A lot of white collar criminals in here. Collar as in C-O-L-L-A-R. Just FYI. <laughs> Before I'm going to get mad people on my channel. Uh, guards. Let's hire two more guards. There we go. Um, anything else we want to hire? I mean, we've got the money for it now, so... I guess we want to hire a doctor. No, a psychologist. Yes, a psychologist. He's going to be a family man. Nope, he's not going to be a family man. He's going to love the books. Oh, I need... I... I'm a moron. I'm a... Wow! I am an absolute moron. Okay, um... Dismantle. Dismantle. You guys need to dismantle all, all these doors. Dismantle. 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 And dismantle. We're going to need office doors in here, not jail doors. I am an idiot. Can I place them yet? No, not yet. Uh, that's just doors or staff doors. Uh, I'll place staff doors there just to be safe. I mean, it's only 50 more bucks, so that should be fine. Oh, we can actually plant trees ourselves? Oh, that's nice. We can plant some trees. That's that's pretty good. Um, we want some bins as well, I guess. A bin right next to the entrance. Uh, let's see. What way should it be turned around? It should be like this here. There we go. We want one everywhere. We want one over here. One in here. We just want bins in every room. And one just outside here, I guess. And over here. Oh, I placed that. Oh, that should be okay. It's, it's, not, it's next to the path. That actually looks better. One over here. And what's all this stuff? What happened over here? What? What's all this? Uh. Uh? The fuck is all this stuff? Oh, that's what they are going to clean, I guess. Possibly. I mean, I wouldn't know what else it is. <laughs> it looks pretty weird. So, where are our prisoners? Right now. Prisoners, where are you? Oh, there they are. They're slowly but surely being put in their cells. Aye, we've got no view in the holding cell. Uh, we want one guard to be in the holding cell at all times. Oh, there's still a few of them outside here. Like Slater, or Chafer, or Haskell. And even Hubbly is still outside. Uh, we want a guard and we want to, we want to assign... Can we assign guards to places yet? 
No, we need deployment for that. Um, bureaucracy. Deployment. I say deployment is very useful. Uh, training your guards to become better at tracking and recovering contraband. That's useful. All this stuff is just useful. This doctor, along with the infirmary and morgue. Okay, we're going to need to hire that kind of stuff as well. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not sure what I did there. I hope I didn't fuck stuff up. What's prison policy? Unlocks a policy report allowing you to increase and decrease the punishments for all types. Oh, uh, that's not useful just yet. Or, well, not really needed at least. Because we've only got white collar criminals and that's... They won't be doing a lot of stupid stuff, I assume at least. Um, we're going to hire a security officer. Oh, man. I forgot about fog of war. <laughs> Oops. We are going to need deployment right now. And maybe CCTV as well, after that. Uh, let's see, deployment. There we go. And... Da -da 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 -da. 